this potato salad. You'll need, I got a five pound bag of red potatoes. I don't like to peel, so that's why I'm using red potatoes. Um, so I have a five pound bag. I'm only using half because it's just uh, me, dad, and grandma, and maybe a little leftovers. Four uh, eggs, uh, mayonnaise, spicy mustard, relish, onion, red onion, I like my, my favorite, uh, celery, and salt and pepper. It's a pretty simple recipe. Um, I cut up the potatoes, probably about that size uh, kind of piece. Um, so I'm just gonna chop them up and put them into the pot. And I'm gonna boil the potatoes and um, hard boiled eggs at the same time. Do not cook the potatoes and the eggs in the same pot. Two separate pots. So as you can see, I'm kind of like about that size out of a potato about that big. So, you know, cut it one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, this is in rows of three and then I think four more. So yeah, you get the, you get the gist of it. Kind of keep them all about the same size so they'll cook evenly. I rinsed the potatoes. Make sure you wash them before you cut them. Then I rinse them, rinse the water so it's clear. I'm full about an inch above the potato line. I'm going to put in some salt and then boil until they're nice and soft. So I got done chopping everything up. I didn't use that big old onion. Um, I probably used a cup of celery and I would say a little less than a cup of onion. I always seemed, I, I thought it was 50-50, but it's not, it's more, I, I lean more on the celery side of it. My timer went off for the hard boiled eggs. I cook them for 13 minutes and then I rinse them off with cold water because you want to cool them down. To check the potatoes, I take the, a, a spoon, a slotted spoon, and I'm going to poke the potatoes to see if they're soft enough yet. And they're still pretty hard. So usually that is correct. The potatoes will take a little bit longer than the, than the eggs. I peeled my eggs and cooled them off. They're nice and cool. I have my little egg slicer. I like to do it both ways. So I'm gonna go this way, take it out, do it the opposite way, and pour it into the thing. Four eggs. Okay, let's check the potatoes one more time. Got my scoop. Oh yeah, see how, how they smush up really well? Here, let me pull them out. You see that? Look at how they smush really well. Like I could make mashed potatoes out of them if I wanted to. Well, not maybe not quite that much. So I wound up setting my timer for another five minutes. So after the eggs, hello, after the eggs were done hard boiling for 13 minutes, I reset the timer for another five and it looks like the potatoes are done. So we're looking at about 18 to 20 minutes probably on potatoes. So most people like to let their potatoes cool off. I run them under cold water so I can eat them sooner. So my potatoes are cool or in here with the celery and everything else. So now we're gonna start adding some ingredients. Um, I, I've never measured, so I'm guessing, uh, cause you, and you know this yellow bowl. And so um, I would guess, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, that looks like about a big old cup of mayonnaise, maybe a little more. Uh, there's another one, you can always add more. Then I'm gonna take some mustard and I'm putting in, let's see, uh, probably a good tablespoon. Relish, um, probably, uh, probably about two tablespoons of relish. And then salt and pepper, you're gonna have to just do to your taste. So I like pepper more than anything. And then a little, you always gotta do a little salt. I, I don't know, teaspoon of both. So with the mayonnaise in there, it's, it, I didn't add any more yet, but you can't undo the mayonnaise. So put some in and if it needs more, then add a little bit more. And sometimes you'll notice that as it sits in the refrigerator, it starts to get a little dry. Um, it probably just needs a little bit more mayonnaise. It's easier to add more mayonnaise than it is to take it away. So um, get a good wooden spoon to mix with because it is heavy to mix. 
and I just fold it. I don't really, I don't sit there and mix it. It's more of a folding technique because you don't want the potatoes to fall apart as you're making them and turn into a potato mush. I changed my mind on the salt and pepper. I would say it's more of a half a teaspoon of each, but taste it. Then you have to take it to your official taste tester. How is it, Robert? Dad? <laughs> is it good or not? It's good. Okay. Last thing I want to say about the potato salad is try to use name brand like mayonnaise. Um, you got to use Hellman's or Best Foods, with whichever you have. And that's about it. I love you guys. I hope it tastes just as good as when you guys are at home. I love and miss you all so much. And tell Tillman I love him the most. Bye. See you guys later.